Hey guys, welcome to Budget with the July Dreamer. My name is Miranda and on this channel I talk about personal finance, specifically sharing tips on saving money, investing as well as budgeting. In today's video I will be sharing my May 2021 Budget With Me video. So let's get right into it. I will be looking down on my laptop so I can walk you through how I'm budgeting for the month of May and then next week possibly I will be sharing my April budget closeout. So today we're just focusing on planning for the new month. So let's get right into it. Like I said, I'll be looking down on my laptop. So for privacy reasons, I have blocked out my salary. Um, this is the salary that I get from my employer. I do a nine to five job in the pharmaceutical industry. So I've blocked that off. But then I also make passive income from my my blog, ajulydreamer.com, I'm making some income from my Etsy, which is called Budget with a July Dreamer. I'll leave both links down below. And so I kind of have a prediction of how much I think I'm going to make from these two uh, sources of passive income. So for the month of May, and I'm basing this off of what I have seen happen in April. So for the month of May I'm expecting to make about 300 pounds when it comes to passive income and then I'm all, I've also added in a new um, it, line item in here which is savings use because I know for the month of May I'll actually be using a big chunk of my savings for um, something that I'm working on in the background and I'll be able to share that uh, more in the future but for right now I don't know how much this is why this is blank and then carry over money every single month I make sure to carry over at least a thousand pounds normally but due to the expenses that I had in April I think it will be less than that so I'm putting down 500 normally I don't leave my account below a thousand but you know sometimes life happens and I'll be sharing a video on that in the next couple of weeks on this channel so this is what I'm expecting from carryover money so about 500 pounds then moving over to my fixed expenses so if you're actually interested in using the uh, budgeting tracker that I'm using I'll leave the link down below you can find this in my Etsy shop so for fixed expenses I have uh, my mortgage so I normally budget 700 pounds but my mortgage is actually 699 and 71 pence which makes up for what is actually uh, I have saved now in my accounts it will make up 17% of my income then for um, a mortgage extra repayments I'll link a video up or down below uh, I have made a decision that I would like to pay my mortgage off early so I'm making small contributions until I finish some of the bigger work that I'm doing in the background then I'll increase how much I put towards my mortgage repayment so for my mortgage extra repayment I calculated I can afford 134 pounds or thereabouts every single month but actually that always I when I did the crunching numbers it's 133 pounds and 62 pence 134 is just a nice round off then for my council tax this um since the new financial year began which was obviously April um my Council taxes increased from 132 to 137, and that's what I'm budgeting. My TV license, I always budget 14 pounds, but it's actually 13 pounds 37. I always budget a little bit more for almost everything. Uh, my car insurance is 63 uh, that I budget, but it's actually 62 pounds and 39. Buildings and contents insurance, I am now budgeting 25 pounds because when the financial year ended, I didn't realize that um, my contents insurance has actually gone up. It was 22 pounds before, now it's 25. Five, so uh, actually it's 24 pounds and 24 pence but so I'm now budgeting uh, 25 pounds as opposed to 23 pounds which I was budgeting last month and even the month before then my life insurance my life insurance is 168 pounds and 17 pence but I budget 170 and then I have actually paid off my home emergency insurance for the whole year so my first ever bill for this will come around in April of 2022 so I don't have anything to pay for the rest of the year 
then my home maintenance this is just how much I've calculated that I spend on things for my house like toilet paper cleaning stuff everything that is not food but I need for the house and also decorating as well so this is the amount I have chosen to put uh, 300 pounds in my budget to spend on the house this doesn't mean that I spend it every single month that I spend 300 pounds sometimes it's less sometimes it's more but whatever I don't spend I normally either throw them into other categories or I save them into the sinking fund and speaking of sinking funds I'll leave um, a link up above or below um, talking about the nine second funds that I have then for my Barclays travel insurance I pay 18 pounds um, every single month and that's how much I budget my electricity fluctuates but I'm hoping this settles so it'll be 33 pounds it used to be 57 but since now it's warmer so it's actually cheaper um, my gas is 42 pounds I'm hoping this will go down now because that's what I use for heating my house so now that the weather is warmer this will actually my usage of it will reduce fingers crossed uh, water and sewer again this is another one that has gone up um, since the new financial year so now i am be paying 34 pounds as opposed to 17 pounds and I'm gonna call the company to see if I can go back on my previous tariff but I checked yesterday and I saw that my tariff has changed so I just have to speak to them about that my internet so this is also something that since the financial year ended, I feel like this is a theme for almost all of my bills, that as soon as the financial year ended, all of my bills kind of went up uh, a sum and I don't even know why but so my abroad but my internet has actually gone up to 38 pounds and 87 pence it was I believe 36 pounds 37 pounds but anyway it's okay and then my cable and streaming service so I have a lot of streaming <laughs> accounts so like I have now TV I have mm -hmm. Disney Plus Netflix Prime all of that jazz and it normally costs me I think 145 but I have paid off my prime I have paid off my Disney Plus all of these I've paid them off for the year so I don't have um, any bills for this year until next year this is why I'm only budgeting 85 pounds because I think it's gonna be about 81 pounds and 35 and then for my gym plus Peloton so I have a Peloton bike which I paid off two months ago I pay a membership fee of 39 pounds for my gym I don't really pay anything because last year in February I actually paid for the whole year then we went into lockdown and thankfully the company decided to obviously just move that um, forward to when we actually are back in the gym which we are now so they're just taking monthly from what I've already paid so I won't be paying I think for another I think maybe until February next year I'm not sure but right now I'm not paying anything extra for my gym so I'm not only budgeting for Peloton and then for my giving I always put 400 pounds so this is part of my tithe to my church I'm a Christian I believe in giving and also just giving to extended family members to worthy causes what have you so I am budgeting that for fixed expenses I will be spending about two thousand two hundred and thirty three pounds um, in the month of May this is, is subject to change purely because budgets are that they give you um, a visual guide of what your month might look like but sometimes we do get surprises so sometimes um, some bills can go up due to interest some of them because the fees have changed and you were not obviously maybe you were informed like in my case I was informed but because I don't receive any postal uh, notifications everything is electronic I actually forgot completely for most of my insurances to go check on their website that I actually have an email which is telling me about all the upcoming prices so budgets are not supposed to be uh, rigid anyway so this is fine so right now I'm expecting to spend that hopefully I can spend less than that because calculating it down with all of my fixed expenses I am looking to spend £1,924.72 so the only thing that's missing there is my home maintenance which I haven't budgeted for because I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to spend on and I have to do my inventory before I go shopping so I know if I actually need to spend that £300 or not then moving over to my variable expenses so I moved my food from fixed expenses to variable purely because this changes every single month I have a fixed amount but when I have visitors and what have you this changes and instead of being in the fixed category where I'm always blowing the budget I put it in variable because 
it is variable every single month. So I put 200 pounds towards uh, food, eating in and out. So this is takeaway or when I go to a restaurant now that things are open, I'm budgeting 100 pounds. My mobile, I actually know that my charge is going to be 122 pounds, 102 pounds and 67 pence purely because I changed my contract last month and this is now being reflected in uh, May's bill. Then shopping, I'm budgeting £100. Miscellaneous, I also budget £100. But sometimes throughout the month when I'm looking through my budget, when I'm reviewing, I do adjust. So I may adjust this if I do get any unexpected expenses. So I may have to change that. Then I have removed socialization from my tracker purely because... I mean, I'm using that money to pay off a holiday. So this is why I've just decided I'm gonna remove socialization. It's the same thing as eating in and out as well as shopping because these are both social activities. So I've removed that and replaced it with holiday planning. Then I pay for a family member's phone bill. It's 25 pounds, but I just always budget like 30 pounds because sometimes there are charges that come up and I only find out about them after you know the direct debit has been taken so i'm just budgeting a little bit more for that phone and then i've reduced how much i'm actually planning to fuel up my car i'm expecting to do a couple of road trips next month but actually because i am topped up i've topped up this month april i don't think i'll be needing to do a full tank so i've reduced this from 70 pounds to 50 pounds and then for my road tax it finally came so i'm um, actually i received a letter to tell me that i'll be paying 181 pounds and 38 pence so i just kind of to round it off i budgeted 82 pounds so for my variable expenses i'm actually expecting to spend 867 pounds um even so hopefully that's how much I will spend and then if we go down on my tracker I have a section for total expenditures I've blocked out my savings purely because you know if I showed my savings you'll be able to know how much I make but maybe in the future if you like this video I may be able to show you in the future but for now for privacy reasons I'm just keeping this uh, blocked off but I am showing what I actually save for every single month. So I have my emergency fund, which I made a video about this. I'm hoping to fund my emergency fund with £15,000 before the end of the year. I am 43% there. I did the calculations yesterday, which is really great. I'm on track. And then I have holiday money fund which I keep with, oh, with another bank and actually the money that I'm saving now is to use for 2022's holidays it's not for this year so this is why you see that I have a holiday planning fund in there because I do have a couple of trips coming up hopefully fingers crossed COVID does not ruin anything for us so yeah and then I've got an everyday savings account. Now this everyday saver is actually for my home. So firstly, I do have a work that is going to be done in my garden next month. I know that and I know that that is money that I'll be using for my savings. This is why to the income section, I have added savings used because that is a sort of income. I'm draining my savings, but put it into my account. So it works out like an income. And then for my investment, so I shared a video recently about what I invest in, I do single shares and I do uh, funds with Vanguard. So I normally put around four hundred pounds a month towards my saving towards my investments so i'm hoping to continue that but it may increase i'm not sure i'm still playing around with the figures from my budget but so this is all i had for my may um 2021 budget with me video if you enjoyed this video please do not forget to hit that like button do not forget to subscribe as well as hit that bell so that you'll be notified when i make um more videos i I'm hoping in the next couple of days to be sharing a video on my passive income. So this is money that I have actually made from my blog, agelightdreamer.com and from my Etsy shop as well. Thank you so much for watching my video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.